To another video in today's video we have the inactive list for the detroit lions and the chicago bears so let's get it started you no know, i got a shout out dosa d uh, man because it was actually the first time i went live on youtube and uh you know guys don't know dosa d uh he put out a lot of good content for the detroit lions <laughs> welcome everybody to another video glad you guys are here and i cannot believe it i can't believe i'm saying this it's game day one and a half hours until the Lions kick off against Chicago. But I got to do this video pretty darn quickly because I have to go get set up for the live stream that we'll be doing at 1 p.m. Eastern time when the Lions kick off as a little bit of a watch party. So if you guys want to be there, if you guys want to see my live reactions, then definitely check it out. We'll be live on this channel at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So I got to keep this video short and sweet. But if you can't see the game, if you don't get to watch it, I'll do my best to keep you up play by play. But man, you guys should definitely get over there and check it out. I got to do this video kind of quick though because I got to make sure that's set up for today's game. Now, let's roll through these inactive lists. Okay, the inactive list for both Chicago and for the Detroit Lions. Now, we have some unfortunate news that kind of came up really recently for the Lions. And unfortunately, we have a couple of players that were super, super exciting not going to be playing today. The first one, obviously, is Kenny Galladay. Kenny Galladay was listed as doubtful with a hamstring injury. And when I was on FCFN, even uh, a physical therapist there talked about why the hamstring injuries are coming up with a weird offseason. So this is something that's going around the entire league. Tons of players have been dealing with hamstring injuries. And unfortunately for Galladay, it's going to keep him out of the first game. But if he's not 100%, there is no reason to put him out there. Don't make this long term. Okay, this guy has a very bright future we understand that let's not make this long term if he misses a week it is what it is it's unfortunate but it happens i guess on average it's like 2.6 games that you miss with it so this happened a little bit ago so i'm assuming keeping him out of week one was just a must okay you don't want a limited hobble kenny galladay out there not in the first game of the year now later in the year if it's a playoff game maybe it's a different story but in this situation it doesn't make any sense Jeffrey Okuda also will not be on the field today. This one really hurts. This hurts because this is the third pick in the NFL draft. This is the Lions' first round pick, and he won't be playing today. Now, he probably wasn't going to be the starter today. He's going to be behind Imani and Trufant. And I think versus the Bears is a good team to honestly not have him because they don't have the most weapons. But it does stink. You want to see your first round pick. So hopefully we get to see him next week against Green Bay. Man, just super unfortunate there. Hunter Bryant's also out. We knew that. Big V is also out. We knew that. So the right tackle is missing. Terrell Crosby will step up into that role. CJ Moore is missing as well. The special team standout. So those three guys we knew about for a little bit now. Logan Stenberg is inactive today. So maybe that's the reason they brought up Kenny Wiggins as well. Wiggins can play every position on the offensive line. And with Logan Stenberg inactive, for what reason, I actually don't know. I didn't hear anything about an injury. But he is inactive today. We see this from time to time. So with that... Kenny Wiggins has been activated. Maybe they just don't think he's ready for week one. Understand with the Lions offense, they don't think he's ready to go week one. And that is okay. That's why you have veterans like Kenny, got, like Kenny Wiggins that you can move up to the active roster and then play them. But Logan Stenberg was going to be a backup today anyways, but he is inactive. And finally, Jonathan Williams, the guy that we just promoted off the practice squad. I'm assuming the Lions promoted him thinking that they may need him with some injury issues if DeAndre Swift couldn't go. But the good news is DeAndre Swift is good to go for today. So we will see the rookie running back out of Georgia. That means Jonathan Williams is inactive. Active. So those are your inactives for the Detroit Lions. And now for Chicago Bears, Duke Shelley, their cornerback, will not be playing today. Hopefully, you know, outside of Kyle Fuller, they have a lot of question marks at the cornerback spot. They have a lot of question marks, a lot of young guys, rookies, Jalen Johnson, guys like that. So hopefully Quint Cephas, Marvin Hall, Jamal Agnew, those guys can step up in kind of replacing Kenny Galladay for this week. And it, it is an exciting time, though, because they're going to get their opportunity. So we're really going to see what Jamal Agnew is all about, what the Quint Cephas hype is all about. Arlington is also out. Saubert, their tight end, is out. I mean, one of the 10 tight ends they have is not playing today. Riley Ridley, their depth receiver that I kind of liked out of college. Riley Ridley will not be participating, so that takes a little bit of depth away from that receiver group, but I don't think he was even in the top four anyways. I mean, they still have Patterson, who's going to be good to go. David Montgomery is going to be good to go, which is huge for Chicago. Having David Montgomery out on the field is going to be gigantic for them. I don't know how much time he would have gotten anyways. Here's the big one. Robert Quinn is inactive for today's game. Robert Quinn, the pass rusher that Chicago brought in this offseason to a seven $70 million deal. He will not be on the field. Khalil Mack will be on the field, but not Robert Quinn. So that takes away his partner, which can be very big because when Khalil Mack was out with Keem Hicks last year, his production went way off. Now, Akeem Hicks is there, but Robert Quinn is not. So that other side pass rusher isn't there, which can definitely help, especially when you're using a backup tackle and a Terrell Crosby. 
and Mario Edwards Jr. will not be on the field either. So not a lot of big injuries, I would say, for Chicago. Honestly, a lot of guys that were like questionable are going to be out there, like David Montgomery, like Cordell Patterson, Khalil Mack. But Robert Quinn won't be on the field, which I think is huge. And the Detroit Lions hopefully can take advantage of that. That should definitely help. But for the Lions side, a couple of main key starters here. I mean, big views expect to be a starter. Obviously, your first round pick is not there. Kenny Galladay is not there. So some big misses for the Detroit Lions heading into week one. But this is an opportunity for the Lions to go out there against all of this adversity of injuries we can go push through and get a win let's go find a way to win football games let's go see what jamal's about let's go see what quintez is about let's go out there let's pick ourselves up let's not worry about who's down the field let's focus on who is on the field we have depth receiver position we have depth at the cornerback position we still have coleman we still have amani we still got true font who are probably gonna be our top three anyways and you got daryl roberts we're fine we gotta go out there and win this game I got the Detroit Lions in this one, 23 to 17. I'm going to keep it here. That way I can go get prepared. Hopefully I see you guys in the stream. Thank you, Proc, for watching. Go Lions! And I'm out. Look at all these cool people. Look at all these cool Hall of Fame, All-Pro, and patrons. You guys are so awesome. Look how interesting... That's an interesting name. I've never seen one like that. I'm not saying that one out loud. We got some cool stuff here, man. I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys want to be part of this? Click the join button. I appreciate you guys. Man, you guys are cool, man. I see you. Oh, I see your... <laughs> You're not sneak. I see you down there, my boy.